Namaskar. Vanakam. Sashirakal. Hamaje. Kaise hai aap? And today we're going to do Sadguru discovers an ancient linga in Turkey. Now today is Mahashivratri and let me tell you that was the most amazing day for us ever. <laughs> Best virtual school day. Best, best virtual school day ever. We watched Sadhguru. We watched the songs, um, dancing. dancing. Yeah. Uh, we listened to you know the mantras and the meditations, and um, it was just unbelievable. Like I, I know the we watched the live version, and they'll eventually have it out where we can watch it again because yeah. that was nice. Like. We couldn't be at the video the whole entire time. The kids had right. school and, you know, I had to help Noah and stuff. But, but we were able to listen to a lot of it, too. Like, listen yeah. to the music, be a part of it. It, like, our our bucket list. We are coming to see that in person. Right. We are. And because even though we watched the 2020 highlights, this was nothing compared yeah. to that. This was so much better to watch yeah. it live. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. Last time we didn't get to watch the we didn't we didn't do like this last time, which I think we should have. And we now have to just play it all day long and enjoy it. Yeah. Um, because that was so amazing to watch that. Yeah. Um, Sadhguru is such a enlightening person, like such a great speaker. He, I don't think any question throws him for a loop ever. No. Um, he always has a good answer, and his answers are always. It's not about, you know, being Hindu. It's not about being Christian. It's not about being Indian. It's not about being American. It's a, it's about being human and the and, way of life. How yeah, you live it. How you how you live it and like, you know, doing the best for not only for you and your body, but how are you contributing? Contributing to the world and yeah. um cuz when your body, you know, when you leave, you don't leave with you have no money. No. All these things that we have, you know, will not be yours to take with you. Um, not even your body. You borrow right. it, right? That's what he mm -hmm. said. So, such wisdom. Um, I hope he just is around for many, many, many more years. And I have no idea if they're going to find somebody as knowledgeable and wise and as him. And people listen to him. They do. Like he's one he of comes the gurus that... People listen to him, no matter what their religion, they hear him. Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't talk down on anyone else's religion. He doesn't talk down on anyone else, irrespective of color, race, sex, doesn't matter. He talks about you as a human being. Right. And that's, you know, or an animal. Like, and that's, I think, what it comes down to. Yeah, and I feel like we don't think about that until you watch Sid Guru or until you watch these gurus. And it's amazing what they can say and what Sid Guru says, and it puts you in a different mindset. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we were um, on the Isha Foundation while we were watching uh, what Shivratri. Else are we doing? <laughs> I know. And um, because I wanted to, to see his book um, that he wrote. Um, right. Death and Inside Story. Yes. Yeah. And I was trying to see that. And then I saw, like, he has a bunch of other books, which I didn't realize. So then I was reading those things. And then I was like, ooh, <laughs> we love the mask with uh, Shiva on it. That people are wearing. Um, yeah. That people were wearing there. And so we were going to order those. But um, we're not. Then we searched some more. Yeah. Then we searched some more. And we found some other things that we ordered. So we're very excited for those to come in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like we said, we'll try to put together us watching some of the clips from it um, and doing some of the meditation. It just amazing. So anyways, the whole reason we're watching this is that how far, you know, Hindu culture, India has spread. It, it was It's not just what you see on the map today, right. you know, and we know that we know that there are temples in other countries that. Um, it's just how far did it go before invaders and people came and kind of pushed it back or, um, you know, took over, took over and kind of crushed some of these temples. So um, let's listen to Sadhguru. 
4700 years ago, there was a full-fledged temple with almost yeah. five feet tall lingam. We put the Rudraksh and showed them how at different places, how the linga behaves differently. Whole of Europe was full of it's temples so like this. Yeah, India was so huge. Far. I was in Turkey just two weeks ago. You heard of Konya? Outside in the gardens, how many broken pieces, you know? Huge faces, half faces, all kinds of things. Old temples all broken and made foundation stone. <laughs> so we were just walking through and there in the garden I found about a four and a half feet or more, about four feet, uh, nine inches kind of linga, properly created linga, an ellipsoid stone. So, wow! <laughs> and uh, when we looked at the history and things like that, they said this is almost 4,700 years old. 4,700 years ago, there was a full-fledged temple with almost five feet tall lingam which was in worship. And it was consecrated that long ago, still alive. Cracked a little bit, so got disturbed and I was just demonstrating for the few three, four people who are with me. Every point in the linga is different, you know, different points in the linga are differently done, beautifully done piece. It's… I mean, whoever worked on it, they knew what they were doing not rudimentary job, very subtle work, still alive, four thousand seven hundred years, thrown out in the garden, not worshipped, still alive because of little bit of cracks that have happened. Some disturbance has happened to the whole thing, but still there. I just demonstrated, I felt this and then because they had to see, we put the Rudraksh and showed them how at different places, how the linga behaves differently. So, this work has been done in the past plenty, but when very… you know, when my way or no way <laughs> attitude came, these things were all raised to the ground in many ways. Otherwise, whole of Europe was full of temples like this, consecrated spaces like this. These eastern temples were never built as places of prayer, even today in India, Nobody ever leads a prayer in a temple. You are not supposed to pray or worship, but you are just supposed to sit there and come. The idea was people will go and sit there and benefit. This is how a temple was created. No priest, no prayer. There is a maintenance person who is now calling himself a priest. <laughs> Certain families were appointed to maintain the sanctity of the place, to keep it going in a certain way. You are just supposed to go there, sit there for some time and come. In South India, this tradition is still alive. In North, it's been disturbed because uh, the… the brunt of invasions North India took, South India left, the Deccan Plateau was generally left untouched by the outside invaders. So you are just supposed to sit there. Nobody leads a prayer, nobody teaches you a prayer, nobody says you must do this or that. You just sit there and imbibe this because these are all consecrated spaces. They created many. All these things were raised to ground. So Only few that are left are generally in India and some other Southeast Asian countries. I don't understand why anyone would want to destroy any temple. But mm. like, you know Indian temples are handmade, especially yes. ones that go way back. Yeah. And the sculptures on it, like, Beautiful. amazing. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know why anyone would want to destroy that, but this is amazing that they found this linga in mm -hmm. Turkey. Yeah, because it just goes to show you how far, not only how far it, India has spread and how far Hinduism has spread and, like, just how many years ago, right? you know? And all these people that claim to be something else, if you go back far enough... Your history, your roots originated in India. Yeah. Um, it's just amazing. And yeah, I, why would you destroy beautiful temples with beautiful sculptures and, yeah. you know, uh, I, he said like barbarians and, you know, it's just, you wonder, I guess, to crush 
your spirit so that they can either convert you or make you part of whatever, you know, right. their new country or whatever they're doing. Um, it's just sad because it's history. And yeah. now, you know, great. I mean, he found this lingam in the garden, but, you know, how many other pieces of things have been destroyed that you cannot find, you know, yeah. or that are underneath different buildings now? Yeah. Yeah. But the good thing is, is like we said, if you go back far enough, most of your roots probably originated in somewhere in yeah. India. Um, your religion probably originated somewhere in India as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this night, Mahashivratri was amazing. Like we said, Sadhguru is it's a way of speaking. He and really does. The way of life, right? Yes. I, I feel like he has answers to it all. And, and not that it's an answer to make your life better as much as like for you to find the inner things for you to figure out yeah. kind of your own inner stuff too um yeah just amazing and watching it has just made our entire day watching it live that yeah. was awesome i mean literally angie had her computer here <laughs> she was virtual schooling it um while just watching. listening to the music and watching it. yeah it was fun yeah so um I hope if you went, so not everybody seemed like they were keeping their masks on or keeping their distance. So I do hope that this doesn't make Impact things, it, yeah, but... anything worse. Because India has been doing so amazing with the coronavirus um, and keeping the numbers low for the amount of people in India. Um, it's just unbelievable. So hopefully um, all goes well. Yeah. And uh, like we said, just an amazing night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. And don't forget to subscribe. And subscribe and subscribe. We I checked our numbers. More than 70% of you do not click that subscribe button on our channel. 70% of the people that come to our channel do not click that subscribe button. And I tell you, the people that have, that watch us all the time, you're all going to comment down below, I subscribe, <laughs> I subscribe. I want to hear the comments that say, I sub sorry, I just subscribed today because I didn't before. Okay, we'll, we'll forgive you. We, we like said Guru, we'll forgive you. This yeah. once, right? Right. And check out our other channels, and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.